So when somebody passes away, you are not burning the property which is possessed by them. But who gave you the rights to burn or bury the kidney, heart, lungs, eyes into the ground which goes for mudi sudiya mananayanam seri, matrar manidurayanam seri. Mudi will teeth in the pinne, oru pudi sambale mudi. And now for someone who is dead, don't say they are dead. Tell them they have moved to the next realm of life. கண்டிப்பாக ஏதாவது பண்ணணும் அதுவும் சிறப்பானதே பண்ணணும் சி ஒன் சம்படி ஹஸ் பாஸ்ட் அவே டோன்ட் யூஸ் த வேர்ட் தேர் பாஸ்ட் அவே நோ வாட் யூஆர் சப்போஸ் டு டூ கோ ஃபார் ஆர்கன் டொனேஷன் ஐ கேன் கிவ் யூ சம் அதர் திங்ஸ் இன் அ வெரி ரிச்சுவலிஸ்டிக் ஃபார்மெட் ஒன் சம்படி ஹஸ் லெஃப்ட் த பாடி வாஷ் த மேக் ஷூர் தட் யூ லெட் த லேம்ப் பிஹைண்ட் த ஹெட் ஆல் திஸ் சி வாட் எவர் யூ டூ யூஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு நோ வாட் இஸ் த எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஏ கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஒன் தே லெஃப்ட் த பாடி பிகாஸ் வித் அவுட் த பாடி தெர் இஸ் நோ மைண்ட் there is no experience for the body because the mind is not experiencing anything and mind can exist only when the body is there and body can experience only what the mind is experiencing do you understand the circuit let's not get into this aspect your question is very genuine what should i do when somebody has passed away who is my very close relationship or who is very near and dear who is most valuable thing in my life maybe my father or mother what i should do with you i salute your question but i need one thing to be understood you can still make them live without the body by making sure that you are taking effort to give or to organize an organ donation of your parent or of your loved ones once they pass away so that you can make sure they have left the body but still the body they utilized is helping some other body with the atman to get some positive changes in life you don't understand so i'll put it in a very simple way there are many people who have requested me this question where i make them understand in a very different way but in this group i cannot do that but still i'm trying to explain something very genuine consider that your elders have passed away in every family someone must have lost someone is there anybody in this world till now who has burned the property that they possess my grandfather has passed away i will burn all the property that which he possessed his car his jewel his ornaments no or say your grandmother has passed away who is having a you know gold bank of almost some 500 sovereigns will you burn everything no this belongs to my grandmother so i burn this no. why do not do that because the gold has got some physical value that is some value which can bring it down to a physical you know price 1 gram of gold costs this much how can i bury all the gold that my you know that belongs to my grandma you will not do that and nobody has never done that so when somebody passes away you are not burning the property which is possessed by them but who gave you the rights to burn or bury the kidney heart lungs eyes into the ground which goes for nothing the soul has left the body doesn't need to be a soil when you put it in the soil it's not required you can use it in a different level mudi sudiya mananayanam seri matrar manidurayanam seri mudi will thee thinna pinne oru pudi sambale mudi whoever it may be once i put into the you know fire or once you burn them they're going to be just ash i am not okay to study this and explain people to encourage them in spiritual journey no once you die you have the possibility to live in someone's body and help an other soul to reach the state of consciousness where they will no more experience pain and problem which is called maranam illa peruval maranam illa peruval a deathless birth or birthless death is possible only when you attain that moksha to attain that moksha you need a physical body so you have left the physical body but your body organs can be used by some other physical body so that they get back to the normal functioning state of physical body and utilize that to attain moksha let them attain moksha or not at least they can nimmadiya mootram pola forget about the moksha but then kidney failure un veetla or periyar yarandida you are taking that kidney you are donating that kidney to a person who is undergoing a 
dialysis a very engage now you will start urinating at least happily you don't know this is moksha for him one is going for dialysis where somebody is donating you know organ for him this is moksha for him it is not just in facilitating going for urination idu veru mootrat kadaiyad idu moksha da idu ange nee periya muhurtham da brahma muhurtathukku vali senjam da appo what happens i don't know all your rituals will give the you know benefit to your deceased person or somebody who has passed away varcha varsham correct ah devasam pandrathu illa inda thidi kudukirathu idella vera mari pannano inda odambukku da no your father and mother is a father and mother for this body but for atman the only father is your lord shiva nikkamara nirendirukum peratal or the allah if you are a muslim it's allah for you if you are christian it is a lord for you but there is a power which is the father for your atman for a physical body is what you came through your father and mother so this is the best thing you can do for them at least for someone who is living so when somebody dies what is the first thing you are supposed to do pray for them i don't know where you are going and what you are experiencing i really don't know but all i know is that you lived with me and i am living because of you i'm not even bringing god here i'm living i'm able to connect with god because of the body that he gave to me and i've lost someone who was being with me during my tough time i've lost someone who was a reason for me to rise in life to the next level it is tough to listen but you need to listen to this but you are not you are not a person who will simply cry for that moment and spoil that you know such a divine time which you are supposed to spend for your parent at that moment you will bless them when somebody passes away immediately you will bless them as an atma yogi you will take an effort to bless them the second thing you will tell it to yourself i will do what i can do for you by doing a thing which will save someone through your organ now they will feel happy about you they will feel proud about you if they really have a physical body they will physically hug you and kiss you in all possible ways try to do that encourage people to do that the entire world will not suffer with any of this disease the entire world will never have a problem in kidney or eye normal high donation kidney donation some organ donation or a total you know body donation what is that you going to do and for you i am saying never worry about the death when you are living death is not going to be with you and when you die life is not going to be with you uiror irukum bodhu saava paaka poradalla setthavum vaalkai paaka poradalla don't fear this death and now for someone who is dead don't say they are dead tell them they have moved to the next realm of life they have gone to the next level of consciousness and above all no even though that atman is not there some atman is enjoying the benefit because of this atman's body which is utilized by the you have done a such a great divine work then this proper ritualistic puja washing the body keeping fire and all this nonsense religious nonsense utter nonsense throw it away now you are a divine person at least you have made your loved one a divine soul by making sure they are not only helping when they are alive they are living in someone even when they are not alive